friends, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to give you my third update on my Finish 13 by Halloween. I wanted to get this filmed a little bit sooner in the month, but I've had a really hard time filming on the weekends because it's been raining, which makes it super hard to film when I don't have nice weather. But enough of that. Let me show you the things that I've used up since my last update. First thing I have are some sheet masks. I have the Argan Oil Mud Mask. I used the Lava Clay Mask Cinnamon and Moroccan. I used the Facial Peeling um, Pumpkin Mask. And I used the Pomegranate uh, Mask Sheet for Elasticity for Tony Moly. None of them were really great. Like I didn't feel myself being like, oh, I really want to buy these again. They were really, really awesome. So I'm glad that I got them out of my collection just because they weren't anything super noteworthy. I also am very proud of myself for finishing up the Enchanted Orchid Shower Gel. The last time I saw you guys, I was all the way up here and this little bit at the bottom, I can't seem to get out slash I don't really care because this is seasonally no longer what I'm looking for. It's too much of like a spring summer type scent, but boy, I did enjoy it. It was a nice, a really nice scent. And I think it's definitely something that if you're a person who likes a soft floral note, this would be a really, really great shower gel or any kind of scent for you. I also am super pleased to report that I finished up the Butterfly Flower Body Lotion. I had quite a bit of this left when I came to you guys during um, my last update and I had to really push myself because right around mid-September time, I don't ever know when it fully will happen, but so my skin needs change. I go from finding this to be just enough moisturization to being super terrible and my skin just is so thirsty. And so I finished this right at the tail end of that change happening and now I'm just straight using my triple body moisturizers or triple body creams, whatever they're called now at Bath & Body Works, but got this sent out of my collection. And even though I did like it, I was definitely sick of it by the end. Um, I also have the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Body Mist. I did not have a ton of this left at the last update, but you know what? It's gone. I'm super happy. I'm working on yet another travel size, and I think I'm down to like maybe a handful of sprays left in total, which is phenomenal. It's taken me such a long time to get through those, and that's been without purchasing anything, just a straight use it up category, and it's been a work in progress. Okay, now onto the things that I have left. The first thing I have is my Suave Moroccan Infusion uh, Styling Oil. Happy to report some good progress here. It was up here and I hadn't really been using it so I have no other line, but now I am down to this Suave mark here. Really pleased with this. Definitely something that I think wasn't the best for this particular challenge because I didn't use a lot of hair oil in the summer or in the start of the month when I was still scrunching my hair, but now that I'm not, I'm plowing through this. Super happy about it, because like I said, I have a few more hair oils on back stock and I just want to get out of my collection. Um, I also have some really good progress on the Provise Skin Type 1 through 6 Step 2 Nutrify. Uh, I was up here at the last update and now we are down to here. Really not much left. That should be becoming quite tricky. I'm having to sort of tilt this to the side to be able to be able to to be able to get some product out of here. And I'm feeling good about this. I don't necessarily think this is the best thing for my skin. I much prefer the number seven skincare line, but I'm happy that I'm getting use out of it because it is a pretty pricey product and it came in a boxy charm. I also have the French Lavender and Honey Fine Fragrance Mist. This I have a surprising amount of progress on. I started up here at the last update and now I am down to here and I feel like I might be able to finish this completely for this challenge, which is amazing for me because I started up here at the very top and I didn't really get to use it from the get-go. I was using another fine fragrance mist at first. So this would be really phenomenal if I can get through this whole thing. It's a really nice scent. I thought I had this in some kind of body care, but I don't and I'm kind of bummed because I really do enjoy it, but it's been working as a nice bathroom fragrance, so I'm happy about that. Also have some sheet masks. I have four sheet masks left. I have the Tony Moly uh, Lemon Mask for brightening. I have the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Diamond Mineral Rinse Mask. I've got the um, Montague Juness, which is now 7th Heaven, Mint Chocolate Chip Mask. And then I have the same brand in the Hot Spring Sauna Mask. I've been kind of dragging my feet on masks just because I've been wanting to use ones that are more for like oiliness and acne prone skin. It's kind of what I've been dealing with for the past, I'd say like six weeks at this point. Um, and so I think if I ever do put masks in a challenge again, I'm just gonna do a certain number, not 
pulling out certain masks because I'm finding that that's kind of a deterrent for the success of using those masks. The same thing goes with the Peter Thomas Roth um, Rose Stem Cell Bio Repair. I have used this three times since the last update and talk about a value for your money. This thing I have used how many times according to my little lines? I've used it seven times and I have so much product left in here. I really am liking that I'm keeping track of number of uses because it gives me a really interesting insight into how many uses you get out of this particular tub, which I don't think I would have ordinarily been able to judge based on just marking lines. So I'm really enjoying this. It's a nice mask and I really find that it does help replenish my skin and makes it a bit softer. The last thing I have is my Garnier Purifying Foam Cleanser for Combination Skin. I cannot see inside this, but when I shake it, I think I'm down to here. I've made some pretty good progress. I'm basically using this every single day because I'm showering basically every single day. And I just want to get this done. I think it's hard to use this because you don't need very much foam to cover your entire face. And because it turns into a foam, it doesn't make... Um, the progress super steady, but I'm hoping by the end of the month this will be gone because I'm just so tired of this face cleanser. All right guys, that's it for this update. I've been making some steady progress. I'm really pleased all around with what I've used up, what I have left, and I feel like I'm gonna be able to actually use up a few more of these products before the end of the challenge. Fingers crossed anyways. I hope the only things I have left are these two items, which I knew going in I wasn't gonna be able to finish, but we'll see. I hope you're all having a really awesome start to your fall and I'll talk to you in my finale video. Bye.